Yeah, right, my name is Jordan and I'm doing my presentation on delay. Um, the topics I'm going to talk about is delay itself, but audio delays and how they actually use delay in audio. Um, how it was first discovered, the different types of delay, and how it was influenced, how it influenced music to create new genres. Um, the first delay effects were actually achieved by using reel-to-reel -reel magnetic tape recorders. It was um, actually these two people here that first discovered the way of doing it with the reel-to-reel -to -reel magnetic tapes. The way they did it, well actually the way that a tape recorder works reel-to-reel -reel is two reels. The tape just flows through it magnetically. But um, the way that they found of using delay in it is actually cutting the tape and sellotaping it together so the actual length of tape would only rotate around these rails once and by using by sorry by adjusting the write and read heads of the tape it would actually determine what delay was actually being used. Um, this is a little present uh, video which I found from Phantom Productions which is just a little bit of history itself on the different types of rails to rails. It's three videos and it's actually 40 minutes long, which is way too long to play, and I haven't actually took out prime parts of the videos, but later on in the videos it does actually briefly go on about let's stop that person and then it actually goes on about these two blokes, Pierre Sh I can't pronounce his name, Schaefer and another bloke which I'll mention in a minute. Um how they actually did it. Um the way that Pierre Schlafer used it was um, his music was known as music concrete which is a found sound sort of music I've got one of his pieces which um, I might have to quickly find but basically it's just from recording ambient sounds um, one of his tracks was just recording a train on a track really and just using the actual sound of the train going over the track as a rhythm rhythmic sort of pattern and like introducing the sounds of the train like the the horn and stuff like that just to sort of make some weird music do you know what I mean it's 1950s and whatnot. Um, I should find the piece really but it's not going to work is it? No I'm not on the internet. Yeah um, I should have really set that piece up. I haven't got that. So I can't show you that piece. Oh now my presentation shut down. The second bloke that used it was Karl Heinz Stockhausen. He was a German bloke, which was born in 1928 in August, lived through till 2007 December. Uh, sorry, to, in December 2007. Um, try and, I couldn't really find that much research on him himself, like as in what sort of music he did, but he was quite a weird way of how he composed sort of music. Um, he would obviously use samples and whatnot, but like this controlled chance, what I got the gist of it is is the way he processes music is just by chance, like rolling dice and seeing what number it would actually hit, just hit different keys and stuff like that. It's pretty weird to be honest with you. But um, yeah, got quite a few tracks out there. Um, I'm going to go on and talk about the different types of delay. Obviously, my. Um, assignment itself I'm obviously going to go in more depth about it but yeah the three main types of delay is analog delay which is actually a physical delay um, digital delay which is obviously a computer device which just calculates my mathematical binary codes to do it and uh, tape delay which is obviously using tapes analog delay I um, found this bit of information from books oh, sorry Google books I think the books called reinforce sound it just states that analog delay really is uh, an effects device that is similar to digital delay, but it's the difference between how it actually stores the actual delay itself, as in like uh, digital would say you could save it like in which format, so you can use it on a computer, whereas analog would be saving it to let's say tape or do you know what I mean, an analog storage device. Um, digital delay uh, is pretty much just a high pressure adjustable time delay generator which determines the delay times from such as like numbers 1, 10 or 100 nanoseconds per second but actually oh, I to describe, but it's like how 
the delay is itself when it actually plays back the original sound after one another. Tape delay is, as I said earlier on, from just using tapes, from just adjusting the heads to make which effect you want. Um, I found this quote here actually from the Wikipedia, which isn't that much a reliable source, but it pretty much just states what tape delay is really. Obviously in my essay I'm going to go more in depth on it all and just determine which is different between which not and what's better. And yeah, that's my presentation. Yeah.